All right, Shalom. Shalom. I'm going to start off with giving all praise, honor, glory to you. Hawa Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Bashim, Hawa Kakadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Coming at you with another quick lesson through the spirit and power. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, this lesson may be edifying. Just a land back through the spirit. I'll be Elder Yashawamba going into on a pride of these devils, man. You know, these devils really think that they're going to escape their harsh reality, which is prophecy. Okay, and what is included in our prophecy that they are about to suffer? Okay, slavery. The same slavery that they have put us, the children of Israel, into. All right, now, I'll say, say the least, we are going to put them in captivity in a, in, a, in a more righteous manner, in a righteous sense. We're not going to do the, the heinous crimes and the acts that they did into, uh, that they did into us. Okay, that they did into our women. You see, we're going to still do things by the book, you know. But nevertheless, your ass is going into captivity. Your ass is going to feel the the, uh, the the harsh punishment from Jake. You 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 going what you dished out is what your ass about to receive, and you about to receive that double, okay. right? Precept for you. Good. Right. This is Lamentations chapter four and verse twenty one. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. Yeah, so the scripture's talking about rejoice, okay? Be merry, be happy, O daughter of Edom. You got everything. This is your heaven. So rejoice. Live while you got it. You see? Because you are, the, 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 the position you are in now, you are falling. Okay, so rejoice while you still have a piece of the pie. Right. It says, uh, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, mm -hmm. that dwelleth in the land of Uz. Yep. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Yeah, what cup is this talking about? The cup of indignation, right? The cup of slavery. This is the cup that's about to pass into you, right? Go ahead. And thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. Mm -hmm. In right? honor. It says, The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. Yeah, so it's talking about our punishment, our captivity, because this is the last captivity we're going to be in. That's why the scripture says, For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob, Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. See? Because our end, meaning, is, is uh, I mean, your end is our beginning. Your end, your rule, your end of rulership is, the, is our beginning of. Uh, 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 everlasting uh, uh, power, everlasting rulership, starting with our King, our Lord Yahweh Shai, mm -hmm. everlasting peace, everlasting joy. Right? It says, uh, and he will no more carry thee away unto captivity. He will visit thine iniquities, O daughter of Edom. Yeah, he's no longer, like I said, it's our last captivity. He's no longer going to carry us away into captivity, but he's going to visit. It says, going to visit you. Oh, daughter of Edom, because you about to be visited, man, for all that the all the wickedness that you have done all throughout the planet Earth, man, and you want to you want to try to blame everything on the, the Israelites, the, starting with the blacks, then the Latinos, and the Native Americans. We ain't pollute the water. Right. We ain't pollute the air. We ain't pollute the food. We didn't destroy the beast of the land and the, and the fowls of the air and the fishes of the sea. We ain't do that. We don't control that. We don't have the power to do that. You control the, uh, all the resources. You have all the time. You have all the energy and, and, and all the fucking machinery to do all these things. Not us. Yeah, Jake, fuck up. We fuck up neighborhoods. We destroy each other. Yes, we do. We get on our people about that. But nigga, you destroyed the earth and you don't want to take accountability? Uh, he will discover thy sins. He's going to discover thy sins, man. When you read in Revelation 18, chapter it says, For the Lord, it says, ah, it's <clears throat> The Most High have remembered her sins. He remembered the sins of America, Babylon, the Great. He remembered the sins of O daughter Edom. O daughter of Edom. You think you're just about to get away scot free? Hell no. Revelation chapter 13 says what? Verse 9. He that have an ear, let him hear. But then what's the next verse? He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He 
be that killer for the score must be killed with the score. Here is the faith in the patience, or is it, let me see. Yeah, here's the faith in the patience, right? In the patience of the saints. So this is something we are waiting for. This is something we desire. These are things we hope for. You know? You going down. When we talk about Esau going down, it's not just to say, oh, because you, you're the so-called white man. No. It's because everything you've done to the earth, it's because it's everything you've done to the, the holy people. This is why we want you to go down. The other nations want you to go down. Why? Why do the other nations want you to go down? Because they see how detrimental you are to the planet. Under your authority. They see what's going on. They see how you corrupt nations through your wine, which is your philosophies. Your wine has destroyed the earth. If you look at the women today around the earth, if you look at the children today around the earth, if you look at the men today around the earth, look what state they are in. They're through. They're through. There's only a, a so, a, a, a so, a, a, a minimum amount of people that have some sense of mind. Yep. Some sense of mind. That's, you heard it said some. I'm not talking about the elect. I'm just talking about the average person. They have some sense of mind. Left. <laughs> Left. Right? Because they're being destroyed every fucking day. Yep. This, this devil has a, he's weaponized everything that man needs to survive, man. Yes. He's weaponized absolutely everything. But like the scripture says, by right, us four, thou shalt live. And that's what he's been doing. He's been destroying the earth. He's been destroying the people by any means necessary, man. You know? But hey, that's, that's going to come to an end because the scripture says what? Uh, the time has come that uh, for, to judge the righteous and judge the prophets and the wicked, okay? But also what? To destroy them that destroy the earth. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah the other one is the, the triumph of the wicked but is but for a moment, time. you know? So we know through prophecy that you're in your little season. You see? Your little season. But your little season about to be over, man about to be over all right uh proverbs chapter 29 says uh when the righteous are in authority the people rejoice but when the wicked are in authority the people mourning the earth is more in, 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 in a state of mourning the people are in a state of mourning when you go to isaiah the 14th chapter it's talking about the fir trees are going to rejoice when your ashes took out of power how much more the bees and the birds and the whales and the dolphins you know, the different creatures of the earth. Shit, they just, they they saying to hell with it. Yep. I'm just gonna beach myself. I can I can no longer I can no longer swim through these oil spills. Right. I can no longer uh, uh try to e eat my uh you know my uh, my prey without swallowing tons of plastic. You know. If animals could speak, I mean, they're speaking in a different way, but I'm just saying, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a sense of how I'm speaking, you know, in the camera, if they can speak, the trees can speak, if bees can speak, they be cussing this devil out, man. For real. Mm -hmm. For real. Yeah, that's why uh, what the scripture says, ask the beast and they shall tell thee. Yeah. You know, not not actually by, uh, you know, vocally through your, through their through words, but through their behavior, through yep. the different things that's going on, it shows you that, hey, these things are not right. They fighting back. Mm -hmm. Earth is fighting back. You know? And, and, and the pride of E, man, the pride of E is to the, the, the complain and talk about Jake wanting reparations. Right? Um, yeah, yeah, we can go there. The Jake, they complaining because Jake want reparations. You know, now we don't want that shit. We as, we as Israelites, we know we got something far more greater coming than them weak ass FRNs. If you give it to us, fat, we'll take it, we'll spin it up. But we don't want that shit. We want the earth, because the earth belongs to us. Mm -hmm. Right? So the hell with those reparations. But for you to complain and say that what happened to Jake three, four hundred years ago, 
right, is not affecting us in the now, you're delusional. You are delusional. You had 300 plus years of slave labor, and and, and now you want to talk about we all got a fair shake? What are you, what? How? How we get a fair shake? <sighs> Excuse me, it's a little rant right now through the spirit. But how we how we get a fair shake? You had 300 plus years of free slave labor and you on top and now you got the nerve to say it's a fair shake between us and you? Really? You going to pay, man. Yo, you 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 eat a mites. Y'all y'all going to pay, man. And we can't wait. We can't wait. You know? We suffer now. But we will rejoice soon. And as we're rejoicing, you going to suffer, man. Just like the the, uh, uh, the the parable with the rich man and Lazarus. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, trading places very soon, man. Very soon. So that was something quick for the spirit. Go with them, Zed and Pants. Next time we want to say show long.